We've gone over a number of examples of discrete random variables and continuous random variables. And when you have an applied problem and you're trying to classify a random variable as discrete or continuous, here are some guidelines. Discrete random variables are typically counting variables. And oftentimes, you can look for the words number of in a particular problem, such as number of puppies in a litter number of aces in a seven card hand. You could say number of points on an exam, etc. I'll, I'll leave one blank here for you to fill in. When you're looking at a continuous random variable, you're typically looking at something that is measured on a continuous scale. Examples of that would be volume, temperature, length, width, time comes up quite often, pressure, etc. I'll, let, I'll leave one here for you to fill in. One thing to notice is some random variables are inherently continuous but only measured to a finite precision. So for example, if uh, somebody is asked what their height is, even though height is inherently continuous, it is the case that when you report and you say how tall you are, if you're six foot one or 73 inches, you would report it um, in a discrete fashion like that.